I'm ready to go ahead. Hi, my name is Jenna, and this is the group presents on celiac disease. So what is it? It's an immune reaction to eating gluten, and it causes inflammation to the small intestine lining. And if you don't treat it, it can cause permanent damage if you go too long with eating gluten without knowing that you have celiac disease. Um, the signs and symptoms are diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, weight loss, constipation, bloating and gas, abdominal pain, and that is all caused by like the intake of gluten and it can be like, you can get rid of those if you just have to stop eating gluten. So your genes play, play a strong role in celiac disease and you must be eating a diet that contains gluten to get the causes of celiac disease. Um, it can be caused by environmental factors. Many women get celiac disease after pregnancy, and then it occurs after illness sometimes. And celiac disease is caused by a reaction when gluten in your diet triggers your white blood cells to attack the tiny finger-like projections called goli that line your small intestine, which they normally help you digest food. But if you have celiac, then they can get messed up in there. Um, diagnosis. So most individuals don't know they have celiac disease. It is important to not alter your diet before getting tested for celiac. Test, there is the serology testing, and that looks for elevated levels of antibodies indicating an immune reaction. And then there's genetic testing, which the leukocyte antigens rule out celiac disease. And then for follow-up testing and endoscopy, they put a long tube with tiny cameras into your mouth and then they look around and like the doctor can do your small intestine and take tissue samples to see if you have celiac disease. And then a capsule endoscopy is also a camera. They look at your small intestine, but they look at the vitamin size capsule when you swallow. And then for treatment, the most important way to treat celiac disease is for the patient to maintain a consistent gluten-free diet. Um, vitamins and supplements can also be beneficial to that. And the type of vitamins and supplements would be like copper, folate, iron, B12, vitamin D, vitamin K. Um, prognosis and follow-up. So without diagnosis and treatment, it is fatal in 10 to 30% of people. Um, most do well if they like just treat it and avoid eating gluten. A gluten-free diet heals and helps prevent further damage to the intestine. Um, patients should receive two years of follow-up care for every six months after diagnosed. Follow-up testing every year after that is very important to make sure that your intestines are like healing and not having further damage. And it's important um, to follow the proper diet. And then there are some.